Finally, my website is live. You can see me at mohammedzuhaib.com. So you can directly book meetings. I hope it works. I mean, it does work. I mean, you know, you understand a new system, it always takes time. So there are two companies. One is MZ, which is the consultancy, like I promised you. Then there's an SK Properties, which is a brokerage. There are three partners. Uh, there's me. There's my friend who's been working with me since 2006. And there's a venture capitalist from the US. I'll be giving more details shortly. There's a third company that's going to be set up very soon. That'll be into asset management, portfolio management, crypto and um, Airbnb. Today's video is classic. Everyone wanted me back on the screen with numbers. So we're going to do um, a comparative analysis. Okay. Comparative analysis. This time I'm going to do it a bit different. I'm going to take, let's say, we're going to go dig a little deep into Damak Islands, of course. Why? Because it's a new master plan. Anytime there's a new master plan, I'm really excited. It's, an, it's a big opportunity to make money. Uh, just explaining shortly, a new master plan for people who are new to this channel is, uh, let's say, this is the first cluster that comes in. So every time a new cluster comes in, the developer increases anywhere 4 to 8% of the value. So by default, you make money. Classic example, uh, let's say uh, Apple to Apple comparison. When Dabak launched Dabak Lagoons, I think the people who made most amount of money were the people who invested in the first cluster, not in the last cl cluster. Similar example, Urban Ranches 3. You can use this with any master plan. So it's a classic say, uh, fail safe method to make uh, a good amount of returns. And we'll be getting into the numbers. Dabak versus Emar, Dabak versus private developers. Uh, the Mac versus, you know, so we'll, we'll go step by step, stage by stage. Uh, then we'll do an analysis of, uh, let's say, off plan versus ready. What are the pros and cons? And then we'll go for a cash flow analysis and then maybe some closing statements. So that will be the flow of the video. So let's go straight to it. Um, so the Mac Islands. Let's divide it into four categories. You have the uh, four bed townhouses, you have the five bed townhouses, you have uh, V3, V55, V75. So uh, we, we are gonna go uh, bracket by bracket comparison. Let's start with the four and the five bed. So this comes in the uh, 2.5 to let's say a 5 million bracket so let's first start with damak versus ema right so to a four bed townhouse 2.6 and a five bed townhouse we're looking at the price of 3.6 okay so um in this bracket what do we have at ema right so we have of course the valley the, again beautiful i love valley i've invested in valley that's how much i believe in it Valley is going to be the next to buy hills. But investment is all about timing, right? See, one thing I hate nowadays, a lot of people compare, uh, hey, you know what, 2021, we bought this, so now the price is uh, X, so uh, that is why you should invest now. It's just not the same trajectory. This is, it's a different trajectory. For example, uh, in 2021, if you compare any location, Dubai Creek Harbor, yes, I used to be like, yes, go ahead. And classic example. So uh, last year, May 2021, one of my investors bought two units in Creek Waters, uh, 2.4 million. Full Creek View, Full Creek Tower View. Today, the same product is somewhere around 4 million, probably not even Full Creek Tower View. RYM, same thing, 2.4 million, great D, great pricing. Now the prices are 4 million, a two bedroom apartment. Even, even, uh, Let's say a, a Nima in the valley last year, a four bed was around 2.9 million. So, so there's a bit, so the, the products have changed, but there is an undersupply in the market. Now this is, I know this is, sounds funny, but there is. So again, you must understand that, you know, I'm at the face of, see, social media is a very powerful tool. So I'm at the face where, People from different nationalities, they come in. For example, yes, because of the Middle East war situation, I'm, I'm getting a lot of people move into Dubai and they're like, 
from the from the Middle Eastern region, right? Lebanon, Syria, Jordan, Iraq, um, and they're like. So most people move their money to Jordan, and from Jordan they move it to Dubai, and they're like, "Hey, we need something ready. We need to start income now because our income sources have crashed. We need to start income." So that's a different kind of traffic. From the other side, let's say UK, US, Japan, um, Singapore, they're like, "So hey, we want to invest. We want to consider moving to Dubai, and we want some place to live in. So where is the undersupply?" So these products that we were discussing, let's say uh, Valley Arabian Ranches three, the three bed townhouses were around one thousand nine hundred square foot, so they were quite small. Same thing. I'm again. These are just examples. Any community that released in that type, Nishama, La Rosa, um, Mira, any community that you observe that time, they were selling smaller townhouses. And the quality of construction wasn't at the standard of the new crowd that is coming to Dubai. For the people who lived in Dubai, then it was fantastic. We were like, "Oh, this is amazing! We want to buy a house to live. We love Dubai. We want to live here. This is our home." See, we're misfits, right? Because we, as a person like me, which is a very common demographic, Indian. Uh, second generation Dubai kid, so I can't go back to my hometown. This is home for me. So there are a lot of people like us. Uh, so this was a great product for them. For the new people who are coming, they want more. They want a bigger houses, bigger floor plans, more amenities. Uh, the finishes should be different. It should be more contemporary, modern, floor to ceiling windows, more lights. So hence. There is an undersupply of those products. Okay, so we need to target those products, enter the market at the right point, at the right point in the trajectory. Okay, so let's get back to uh, so four bed townhouse, two point six, two point six. Valley, a three bed townhouse uh, is at two point nine. A four bed would be at around three. Point six. We can also compare uh, Greenville, which was launched in um, Imar South. A three-bed townhouse was uh, selling at three point two. A four-bed was selling at around three point eight. Okay. Now, another silly thing that people do: you can't just look into the prices. Why is it two point nine? Because Imar adapted to the market and started building bigger townhouses, which was a very successful product in Dubai Hills. Right? There were these three-bed sidras, independent villas, but it really worked out well. I was found a three-bed sidra. Four of my clients was willing to pay fifty thousand a month for a three-bed sidra. Of course, it had a pool, but still, fifty thousand a month is a lot of money. So uh, these, of course, the sizes have increased. 2,400, 2,400, 2,969, you know, massive, good, good floor plans, all right? And um, over here, again, similar, similar sizes, 2,400, 2,900, uh, similar sizes. So that's with EMA, right? That's the comparison. Um, if you look at the cash flow, the cash flow is very similar. Again, don't let people fool you. When they say, oh, it's only 1% a month, it's not. It's not because uh, if you look at the cash flow, we'll come back to the slide, okay? So if you look at the cash flow, the Mac Emar, uh, the difference is that um, Emar takes okay twenty four percent down, the Mac takes twenty four percent down. After that, normally what Emar's pattern is somewhere around twenty percent every year, right? That's how Emar goes. So this is the first year, second year, and they keep going. So it's 20% every year. In the first year, it might be a little steep. It might go up to 34%. And Demac, it's like 1% every month, and every five months, every six months is a bump of 5%. But but pretty much it's around 20% a month. So in terms of cash flow, there's not much of a difference. Now let's understand leverage. Now leverage is a is a very important factor that you guys need to understand over here. When At the DLD, Dubai Land Department, when it shows fifty percent complete, right? If you are a resident, you are eligible for a mortgage. So, 
based on the market price at that situation. So for a lot of my clients, what I do is also, I'm going to introduce you guys to Mohammed Al Jabri. You've seen my podcast with him. He's officially on board with MZ. So he has 12 years of experience in company setup, bank account setup. Um, so we exactly know how to set up companies or how to position our clients, how to create statements for our clients uh, in order to give them a position of leverage. So in case you require a 50% DLD we'll, uh, mortgage, we'll, during our Zoom sessions, when we do schedule a call, we'll explain to you how we can position yourself so that you can avail this. So this is also a very interesting opportunity that we can look into. Now going back to, um, going back to this, so we've got Demac versus Ema. Now you see the price difference. A four bed is at 2.6 and a five bed is at 3.6. Now, why this is important, I want to complete one more explanation and I'll get to this, okay? In fact, two more explanations. Now, if I if I compare this with private developers, the Mac, I'm looking at another private developer. So, uh, if you understand, uh, so this is downtown. From downtown, there's a big road called Dubai Allen Road, E66. Uh, this is where uh, there's District 1, there's MBR City, uh, District 11. So there are a couple of communities over here and the big Crystal Lagoon. And over here, you've got back-to-back -back communities, right? So uh, there's Elwood, there's Valley. So at this stage, you've got this Dubai Silicon Oasis. Now at the border of Dubai Silicon Oasis, there's a new master plan being developed by Nakhil. So uh, again, it's the same cluster basis. So you've got cluster, 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 cluster. So the first cluster has been launched over here by a private developer called Leo's. Again, uh, phenomenal quality, but the prices are quite steep because again, if you compare with the products inside Silicon Oasis, they seem like a, a good deal. So this is a, a master company called Greenwood. You probably wouldn't have heard of it a lot. It's by Nakheel. So over here, the three beds are around 2,700 square foot. The three of the four beds are around 3,200, the four, five beds are around 4,000. The prices are around uh, 2.7 million, 3.2 million. Uh, this is around 4 million. So um, it's important to understand this private as well. Now this, I see, I always prefer larger communities, but then I've had clients who said, okay, no, I want something um, more small. I, I, I want to focus on ultra luxury like really good quality villas so that's an option that i give them but i think brand value holds a big stake now finally uh, i'm coming to my main point we're going to compare it with ready stock now if you look at the uh, if you look at the satellite images of um, of where the mac islands is located so you have nashama here there's a road over here um, you've got your Arabian ranches too here, sustainable city, uh, and uh, here you have Sherry Woods, and beside Sherry is Sun City, and beside Sun City is your Damak Island. Damak uh, Hills too is somewhere down the lane over here. So, if I compare it with Sherry Woods, now uh, in Sherry Woods, a four bed goes at around four point. 2 to 4.6 million okay so now we've got all the numbers so now we can go back to the first slide okay you have all the numbers 2.6 million for a four bed townhouse which looks modern all amenities there are water bodies you know shock and 3.6 now from every cluster onwards here there's going to be an increase in price I understand Emar is a fantastic product, okay? But sometimes you have clients who say, no, I want a four bed. I want a five bed, okay? So this, the Mac Islands, it's not a very dense community. There are not many villas or townhouses, especially in the first cluster. I think in total, they're launching around 400 townhouses. So there is opportunity here. I think these houses can go up to the 4 million mark considering 
शेरी वुड्स शेरी वुड्स इज गॉन टू फोर पॉइंट सिक्स सो कॉन्जर्वेटिव आई कैन इमेजिन दीज गोइंग टूवर्ड्स द फोर मिलियन मार्क एंड दीज पोटेंशियली कैन गो टूवर्ड्स द फोर पॉइंट फाइव मिलियन मार्क सो इफ यू टेक दैट लेवरेज ऑप्शन कंसिडरेशन यू पे अराउंड फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ द वैल्यू विच इज अराउंड लेट्स ए वन पॉइंट यू पेड अराउंड वन पॉइंट फाइव मिलियन यू हैव द ऑपरचुनिटी टू मेक अ मिलियन एंड अ मिलियन एंड हाफ टर्म्स दैट इज योर प्रॉफिट पोटेंशियल राइट सो दिस वॉज द एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ दीज टू ऑपरचुनिटीज नाउ लेट स्टेप इन टू वी थ्री ओके